Okay, so there seems to be uh, some confusion over setting up Final IK, uh, or specifically VRIK, um, for the Oculus uh, camera rig. And uh, it, it is exactly the same as is shown in the YouTube videos that, that shows Steam. And if you want a working example, um, it, there is one provided. It, it doesn't actually get downloaded um, immediately out of you know when you download and install Final IK, you need to go into the integrations folder and double click on this Oculus package, which will then unpack um, this folder in this scene. And the reason, obviously, it doesn't get installed automatically is it's dependent on you having uh, downloaded the Oculus integration package. So. Um, there it is and it's all working and the trick really is just that you need essentially your solvers or your VRIK solver to have references to these targets and the way you create them this is as it's shown for the steam um, the, as, as is shown in the steam YouTube video for the final IK package but I'll show you I'll show you how it's done it's pretty easy so I've just got a model I've added VRIK um, and what I need is just uh, adding references to targets also got an OVR camera rig which has got nothing in it currently and the way you get the references is you open your models kind of uh, transform hierarchy so you need the head and I'm going to need the left hand and I'm going to need the right hand this is just a mixing mode humanoid model so left hand head right hand and then I'm just going to go I've selected all three of them control D and then move them out now and now I'm just going to leave them actually uh, here and then I'm going to place them where I need them so head in the center eye left hand under the left hand anchor and right hand under the right hand anchor and then on VRIK itself you want to go head, left hand in the left arm target and right hand under the right arm target and then you're pretty much all done if you do you know obviously you can mess around with the settings to things like you know how your feet are uh, moving um, in time with the, your character moving that, but that's just really tweaks um, also you can add the uh, VRIK avatar scale calibration for Oculus which helps get your you know the right height um, and that's pretty much it apart from we'll need to do some tweaking of the head and the hands positions and I'll show you how that's done get my uh, bit ready and my controllers Okay, we're back. Um, the Oculus uh, runtime decided it was time to do an update, so uh, I wasn't able to go straight into play mode. But we're back. Um, so yeah, if you press play, you get some kind of some weirdness going on, partly in the head, partly in the hands, and also um, so this is essentially the camera rig, uh, the center icon. You'll see it's like way below the floor, so few things to tweak before we can actually just keep going the first thing is make sure that in your VR camera rig if you've pulled it in from um, from the oculus integration packages you want to change that to floor level um, for the rift um, and quest uh, also you want to zero out any transforms on this so they are literally centered on so position transforms leave the uh, rotations as they are but that essentially means that your 
um, targets exactly zeroed out on the hand anchors and on the uh, eye anchor right so now we can go into play mode and make my camera gizmo just a bit smaller but you can see it it's like slightly in the wrong place and the way you fix that is you can literally select the head until actually your cameras are coming out where you expect them to out of your um, eyes and if you want to double check on your view so you'll know you're kind of wrong if uh, put that there <laughs> try to find a spot for it you'll know you're wrong if you go in and you'll start seeing your the character that makes sense so you kind of just you want to pull them out of the face I tend to just give you a little bit of leeway right let me move that back out. hopefully that makes sense uh, so I'm sitting down obviously in my desk currently so if I stand up it'll start to make more sense but uh, that's the head and a really so obviously you want to keep now this new position I've got a really highly recommended little uh, utility that just uh, saves play mode changes there you are so that will be remembered now that transform will be remembered uh, the asset is called play mode saver it's super cheap and uh, it just saves so much time for this kind of stuff so I can move on now to the uh, and so I'm going to do my left hand and yeah so this is a bit of a weird one you're like you've got to essentially kind of alter this transform to match what would be a normal hand and it's hard to do just as it is so here's a trick use the um, local avatar which for memory just goes into the tracking space and enable hands yep yeah. And now you've got essentially the exact what it what it should be. So you see, I'm kind of moving my hands. It it'll show you exactly where your hands should be. Um, so which one should I do first? This is it's tricky to do this, but you kind of get eventually you get kind of quite good. I so say obviously my. Uh, one of the downsides though is the um, how can I explain uh, one of the downsides is that your hand your the avatar hands will disappear after a while they have to kind of Sometimes easier to do it in the. Uh, no, no idea why one is so much bigger than the other. Oh my god, that's the thing about it. It's going to disappear. Okay, that's kind of okay apart from the scale. Let me have a quick look to see where the scale is. But while I'm here, I'm just going to save that one. 
Okay, that's better. That's kind of pretty good, you know, it's uh, That's not, not too bad. Save that. And then I'm going to do the other one. Now you can for memory. Paste component values. But obviously, it's going to be like a. One thing is going to be. They're not, it's not a, like a perfect mirror, but it gets you in the right ballpark. That feels about right, maybe a bit further down. make more sense to be local actually to make my alterations yeah that kind of feels about right so save that one did I check the other one while I'm at it I'll do for jazz now stop I know you don't need the local avatar anymore. And stand up. I will look at my hands. So there's a, a useful is that avatar um, utility, the calibration, the scale calibration. That's the Press A and it will just kind of feast things up. So, we're looking at Yeah, that, that's me standing up now. I'm looking at my hands. And it feels right. It, it looks a bit odd in the is um, you know kind of doing it set down on my desk but uh, yeah that, that is correct and uh, as a bonus you might also want to be interested in so this is the VRTK kind of mirror but by default it mirrors kind of oddly let me stop that so here's mirror um, it, if you raise your right hand it's the left hand in the uh, in the mirror that goes up so if you want to actually have a proper mirror uh, just copy the settings for the tiling so you want um, an offset of one on the X and then in here just do a wrap mode of per axis mirror on the U and just clamp on the V and you'll you'll see that kind of fixes it essentially you're kind of mirroring the um, the reflection and then using the mirror so that the the mirrored c copy you know on the on the v on the u so it'll make sense when you do it like, like, let me show you what i mean and what you're doing is at zero here um, it doesn't mirror as you would expect try and see if i can actually do a uh, I actually have to physically move that mirror. Sorry, my position's all a bit wrong. 
but yes I'm, I'm raising my left hand but you can see it's the right hand which is being mirrored in the mirror but with this setting of a, a U mirrored and then just on the axis it's essentially go to one that's the mirrored portion then you've got what you expect right that's your little bonus I hope that's uh, helpful to get uh, yeah VR uh, IK working with the Oculus integration package